Okay, so for this part, we've got to solve this equation f of x equals a half x plus 30. And when I'm doing something like this with a modulus equation, it's always good to work off the graph. And so what I'm going to do is draw this graph, it's a straight line graph of a half x plus 30 on top of this one. The only problem is though, we know it crosses the y-axis at 30, but where does this graph cross the y-axis? What's this point here? Well, we can easily get that by just doing f of 0 when x is 0. So let's start with that first of all. We've got f of 0. Well, that's going to be 2 times the mod of 3, which is going to be 2 times 3, which is 6, plus that 5 is going to give 11. So this point here is 11. So when it comes to sketching f of x equals a half x plus 30, straight line with a positive gradient of a half crossing the y-axis here at 30. So let's suppose it's something like this, okay? A line going from here through the y-axis. And you can see it crosses f of x just at one point. So how do we get this solution now? Well, we need to know what the equation of this part of f of x is. And when you're doing a modulus equation, in this case we've got 2 times the mod of 3 minus x plus 5 equals this half x plus 30. We take the positive and negative values inside this modulus. So if we take the positive version of 3 minus x, that would give us y equals 2 times all of 3 minus x plus 5. And if we simplify this, you can see we get 2 3s are 6, plus the 5 is 11, and we get minus 2x. So minus 2x plus 11, which is clearly a straight line, but with a negative gradient passing through the y-axis at 11. And you can see that that must be this branch here. Well, the line here is not going to cross this part of f of x for positive values of x. So it's this branch that we're interested in. And if you were to look at that branch, we've got y equals 2 times, and we take now the negative version of that 3 minus x. So if I put that as that, and we expand this, you can see that what we get is 2 times the negative 3 here, which is minus 6, plus 5 is negative 1. And you've got 2 times positive x, which is 2x. So a positive gradient, this part of the graph would continue down if it was allowed to, and go through negative 1 there. So if we're to get this solution, then all I need to do is equate a half x plus 30 to the 2x minus 1. So if we do that, we've got, I'll just put now here, what we've got is 2x minus 1 then equals the half x plus 30. And if I now just take half x from both sides, that's going to give me 2x minus half x, which is 1 and a half x. I'm going to write that as 3x over 2. And then if I add 1 to both sides, you've got 30 plus 1, which is 31. And so if I multiply both sides by 2, that will give me 3x equals 62. And then divide by 3, I end up with x equals 62 over 3. And there's our one solution. Okay, so I hope you're able to see how that's done if it caused any problems.